a way, it's kind of gone back to where he like, started. I mean, 27 years ago, me and Steve used to write three tracks a week each, turn up to gigs and not know what each other was playing, you know? So um, I kind of miss those days in a way. So this has been a good way of going back to that. Are you, are you looking to do more shows like yeah, this? Yeah, next year, I definitely want to do more modular more. shows, yeah. And how, how are the nerves before doing it, considering it's that it's a complete departure from... My normal Eat Static sets, I've kind of got everything backed up on hard drives and um, multi-tracks. So, um, you know, even in the wettest festival, you know what's going to happen. And, you know, I've still got a degree, loads of um, random stuff I can do, but this is a lot more um, on the edge, isn't it? But that's what makes it fun. That's what gives it the vibe, you know. Basically, I just had a load of stuff, you know, some drum patterns running in the drum, drum doctor. Um, all the bass, all the bass was coming off the um, SH101. That, that's been with me a quarter of a century now. And then basically the rest is just, you know, random rhythmic stuff on the fly. Was it, um, was it mixed in stuff mixed in the I'm modular or? I'm mixing everything on here. I, I mixed all my stuff in the two. Steve's mixed all his stuff in the two. And then um, Basil and Kerry were separate. And then I've got also an effects rack here. This is basically what I use with my normal static set. So I'm riding echo speeds. I've got extra reverb there. And what, what's this little beast down this here? This here is the Screecher Tron. Well, nice. That's what I called it anyway. Basically, it's, um, it was designed by a nutter. It actually runs on battery, so I can busk with it. But it's basically two oscillators filter, resonance, range, and then there's the, what I call the DJ button, but basically. Sure, there's a little creature that lives inside there, you know. This guy here has been playing that that thing he bought new in the 70s, and he's a master on it. Um, I don't know, I, I was just doing a gig one day and he turned up and I haven't been able to get rid of him since. Southampton, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter where the gig is, whether it's in the yeah. middle of sort of Hungary or um, Peterborough. He's still there. I don't know how. I keep popping up, don't I, man? He just pops him, up, <laughs> disappears, cackling down the road at the end of the day, and that's the last I see of him until the next gig. <laughs> but I used to be in a band called Osric Tentacles and for years his younger brother played the same thing for Osric Tentacles, so um, it's quite funny that as I've got older now, I've ended up with his older brother, you know. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing at the moment. Yeah. 